Behold, more of my stuff. If you're watching this, you probably know exactly what these are. These are Psychopathic Records charms, or ICP charms, um, Hatchet Man charms. There's all kinds of different names. And I've been collecting these for about 20 years, actually over 20 years now. And my friend Sam, he introduced me to this band in the mid-90s that I'd never heard of. And I was just kind of, they were very odd, and but it fascinated me. I'm not a big fan of their music, but I will say, you know, a couple of their songs are catchy. Um, that's true. But the fan base is really what intrigued me because these guys are, are very loyal. I don't think there's any other music uh, artist that has quite the fan base of ICP and the following, the, the cult fan base. And I almost just, I'm interested more in the fan base and the surrounding of the band than the music they create. It's just, I don't know, I, I just find that really interesting. But, so my friend came, came back, it was in 1999-ish, he came back from a concert he went to and he had one of these around his neck. And I'm like, what is this? You know, I didn't know much about the band and then I started reading, I was like, wow, this is, these guys are unique if uh, lack of a better word. But I was just, I was fascinated by these because I remember when they came out, they were extremely hard to get, hard to find. eBay was brand new at the time. You know, this is 99, 2000. So these would sell out even at the shows really quick. So for some reason, I started collecting them. And, and my friend has since moved on from, you know, being a huge fan of that band. But... For some reason, I just, I liked, I, well, I like to collect random things for the most part. And these are one of those things that are just odd. And it started out, I ended up getting, uh, he actually got me one. This is the large, original, like, 1999 um, Psychopathic, or what is it, Psychopaths from Outer Space. I think that was the tour. And these were releasing. And they were still somewhat of a limited run. Um, this is a silver, the large silver version that's diamond cut. So each one of these, there's slight differences. So you have like, this is a silver one too. This is the non-diamond cut version of this one. And they're marked like sterling silver, just stir up here. And the fascinating thing is there's a lot of fakes of these types of charms. But it, they're really easy to spot because they're very crudely done. And, yeah, I, I like the detail. I think they're, uh, they're just really unique. And a lot of people just know what these are. And so it just kind of had a collector ability to them. So these came out in 99. I, I picked up a few. This is, you know, over the course of many years, they got some tarnish. I haven't, this is actually the first time I've had these out in a long time. I just kind of forgot about them. And... Yeah, I, I just think they're very cool. Um, another cool aspect of these charms, the diamond cuts. Whoever made these, there's slight differences in all of them. So this one has diamond cuts all over it. Whereas this one, it's just on the edge. This is like my favorite style. Just on the very edge, you can see a lot of detail in the guy's face. And so, yeah, that, that was my favorite style. Because there's many different versions of these charms. And these are the smaller versions of this and so this has a diamond cut right where his eye is actually i think a lot of the smaller ones do so these two they're both the silver version um, these two are pretty much identical you can see uh, some molding flaws when they made these i think they were probably more of a home brew i'm not sure if psychopathic records really had jewelers but they did a pretty good job Good execution. So, small version, the large version. There was always two versions of every charm, usually the small and the large. So these were the true originals that came out in 1999. Uh, and then, so we'll fast forward a bit. In 2003, actually, before I get to that one, 2000, this style was released. I found a gold version of it, a small gold and it's slightly different than the OG. This is a gold OG style. 
Uh, you can see how the hatchet is slightly different. These are both 10K, 10 carat. I'm not sure on the weight, they're not that heavy. But uh, yeah, the originals had this, this kind of grainy molding marks on the backside, which I like. And the 2000 version was marked 2000 ICP. Uh, they both have like a brush finish. Uh, this brush is a little more coarse than this one, but this was still, this one was my favorite style of charm. And so even that, I have two versions of this 99 gold, and you can see how the diamond cuts are different. So this one doesn't really have diamond cuts on the face, whereas this one does. But in the backs, they're identical. And then if we fast forward to 2003, we have this version. I wasn't a fan of this style. Uh, a lot of people were. I didn't like the hatchet, like it was bent forward compared to, this one was more like straight on with his face. This one seems to be like he was slashing, I guess. Um, so I, these are like really shiny, like a mirror finish where all the rest were uh, like a brush. And the other thing about having a mirror finish, they'll scratch real easy. So like I'd never even, I just kept this in the bag. And these were marked, these are like a lot thicker. I'm not sure on the weight, but this is just a silver. And this one is stamped 2003, you know, 0.925 sterling silver. And it also has a movable bale, whereas the rest all have like a, a solid you know, there's no moving in the bale, whereas this, they designed it. This was the first year, I think, they designed it with this. And these were released on the uh, merch store, the Psychopathic, or ICP, was it Hatchet Gear? So this was the first time they started releasing these. There is a gold version of this, and I do remember seeing it on the website. At, I want to say it was like 600 bucks in 2003, 2004. Uh, thinking back, I'm like, man, I should have got that because it'd probably be worth a lot more now. But, you know, whatever. I, I got a pretty good buy on all these over the years. I, I didn't think I paid up too much for any of them. So it was kind of the thrill of the hunt. That's that's why I kind of like collecting these. And if we fast forward to 2009, because there was a big gap from when these came out. Um, to when they started releasing again in about 2007. There was another version. I, I used to have a couple of the small ones. They, To me, they were just horribly done. I sold those. And then in 2009, they re-released a good quality copy. of the, This is still in the original packaging. So these have a mirror finish. And these are more in style with the original um, Hatchet Man. So you can see how, you know, the hatchet, the, the pose is slightly the same, is pretty much the same. The difference is the this one has a movable bale, and they're marked 2009 on the back. And this, you know, the original didn't really have a lot of markings, minus, you know, the 10 carat or the sterling. So I picked a couple of these up when they re-released. They had a large version too. I didn't grab that because I was just trying to, you know, I was just collecting here and there. And then also in 2009, that was when I finally completed my, I guess my pinnacle, my coup de grace of the collection is the large gold 1999 Hatchet Man charm. I think it even had this bag, or this bag came with one of the other ones. But yeah, this one was is one of the hardest to find. And I can't remember if I got it on eBay, but it... They just, they didn't come, they didn't show up very often. So I grabbed it and I was, after this, I was like, okay, I'm done. I I'm, I finally completed my collection and didn't really have plans on getting any more. So yeah, I've just had these pretty much sitting in storage for a long time. But yeah, this one is uh, one of the rarest, one of the most unseen versions Wish I knew the numbers on how many they made, but uh, the gold original, which there's only one original in the 1999 version. And yeah, I guess I guess the artists have their own versions that are just one-offs, custom-made. Uh, good luck ever finding one of those, but as far as the mass-produced ones, or semi-mass-produced, it was 
This is uh, my favorite version. And the gold, it's 10K. Um, I don't know the weight, it's not super heavy. But yeah, these are just, just wanted to show these because they are kind of unique. And uh, the fascinating part is, is that band and the cult following. Uh, that's more what I've, uh, I'm interested in are the people, not really the music. And the jewelry that was associated with it was uh, very sought after. So to me, it has that collectability. And uh, it was fun, you know, building this little collection. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it forever, but just wanted to share it. So now if you see this logo, you'll know exactly what it is. But again, I'm not, you know, a crazy juggalo. I just like some of the unique things that uh, they came out with. The Hatchet Man Charm.